So today I'm going to show you some useful tips and tricks for iTerm 2. I'm just going to go over some of the ones I use almost every day and you might know some um, but I hope that you pick up at least one new one today. But they'll be pretty basic and I'm hoping to make a second video to do more in depth on some other cool tricks with iTerm. Alright so the first one is jumping and skipping over words. So if you ever wanted to, um, if you have, you know, text here and you want to go, you want to go between some of these, but you want to skip over the whole world word, right? So I'll show you how to do that. So if you go to iTerm2, preferences, profiles and keys, you can set up, set up some shortcuts for these. And I'll also post these slides um, somewhere else and I'll post that link in the description. So if we go preferences, profiles, pick your profile and then keys, let's say we're going to add one here. For the action we're going to say send escape sequence and then we're going to put F for forward and then for keyboard shortcut that's what we want to press. I personally like control F for forward so I use control F so add that and I'm going to add one more for back to go back so let's um, send escape sequence again and we do B for back here and I like to do control D because it's right next to F so it just makes it a lot easier when I'm going back and forth so then here you might have to restart your terminal session but now we should be able to go back and forth by hitting control F and D which is really really useful so that's the first one uh, next one is jumping in the beginning and end of a line so some people may know already know this one but A A is to go to the front control A sorry control E is to go to the back I use control A forever and it wasn't for a while till I like actually decided to look up what going to the end of it was. So yeah, control A forward, control A back. And then now with our shortcut keys, we can control D and control F to go back and forth. Alrighty. Um, open iTerm2 from a finder. So this is actually pretty useful. Um, so if we go to a finder, Let's go in my home folder. We can see that something like, if you go down to services, you'll see open a new iTerm window here. But so, you know, you a lot of people are searching through the finder. So it's really easy to pop up a window through the finder. So an easy way to create a shortcut for that is if you go to system preferences, and go to keyboard, go over to shortcuts, services, and scroll down under files and folders. You'll see a new item window here. We're going to add our own shortcut. I use command Q because a lot of these are taken up, so I just pick command Q. So now if we go back here, we should be able to hit command Q. And pop up a new iTerm window right into that directory, which is really, really useful. So I definitely like that one. Um, let's see what else we got. All right, clearing the screen. This is a super simple one, but I actually didn't know about it for a while. So let me close this. So if we have a big screen here, you know, most people, you know, just clear, which is easy enough as it is, but. Something a little easier is Command R, which is, I don't know, it's just less typing. For some reason, I typo a lot and I type that. I always do that. I don't know why. I always do that. So, Command R is just a lot easier. Alrighty. Open split panes. So, this is really useful when you want to see, let me move this, when you want to see, you know, two screens at once if you don't have dual monitors or something so if you do command d 
that that'll open a second pane and then to flip between the two you would say command left bracket or command right bracket to switch between the two so you could obviously have things run in here watching it switch over do some other stuff here right so that actually comes in handy a lot and I like these tricks because it's a lot of hands off the mouse so you could just keep your hands on the keyboard and still have full movement another one is so just switching between tabs so if we just have some tabs up here um, we could say command left arrow to move left command right arrow to move right but another one I like is I usually have like six tabs up so let's say we're on the second tag tab here right so here's our second tab so we'll type some stuff now let's go over to the fifth tab and type some stuff if we hit um, control tab it'll bring us back to the one we like last use so it skips over the two in between it goes right back to where we left off if you hit control tab again it goes back to where we were so that's like a more recently used tab which is again control tab so I like that one a lot um, this one's a really cool one window arrangements this is another one I didn't know for a while but um, becomes really useful so we're gonna create kind of a how we want our iTerms windows set up with folder structures and things like that and we can save that configuration so next time we run a iTerm terminal we can just hit command shift R and it'll bring up that exact same setup so let's go ahead and do that so uh, let's get rid of all these so let's just say we want we're working on a project I don't know so so I'm in courses so I want to be in courses um, then we could do something like command option shift uh, H and it's going to pop up what profile you want so just select select the profile this is your horizontal split so now we have two so let's say down here we want to be in YouTube and they'll just or you can imagine these as a front-end folder a back-end folder if you're doing web development and you're always working in these and you've been working on a project every day and this is kind of just what you need so if we use something like let me do this uh, command shift s we can save this configuration so let's do command shift s uh, you can name the arrangement I'll just leave it as oh we'll say uh, project one we'll say okay so that'll save it now what we can do is if we get out of iTerm we can use command shift R next time we open it to automatically launch us back into that configuration so let's try that so we got a fresh new window so we say command shift R and now you're back into where you save those window arrangements and you can make these really complex and when you're doing complex projects it's super useful <clears throat> and the last one I have here today is just opening links that's command click so again if I don't know you're just working with links you need to get something quick if you hit if you hold command and then click Google so these again are fairly basic tips for iTerm but I didn't know all of them and I was using iTerm for a while so I hope you guys at least picked up on one new one and I'm hoping to make a second video doing some more in-depth stuff on uh, some more advanced shortcuts so I hope this helps out if you have any feedback uh, good or bad please feel free to leave it in the comments thanks for watching and have a good day